and welcome to The Update. I'm Michelle Stevenson. Well, lockdown is here for South Australians as they enter a seven-day statewide shutdown. You can only leave home for five reasons. To provide care, for essential work, to buy essential goods such as food, for medical reasons including COVID vaccinations or to get a COVID test and to exercise with members of your own household. Schools and childcare will be available to essential workers only as teachers will spend tomorrow preparing for remote learning learning to begin from Thursday. It's after the state recorded five new infections. Western Australia has shut its border with SA immediately in response to the growing cluster of cases. It says Victorian Premier Daniel Andrews announces his state will remain in lockdown for a further seven days. It comes after 13 new cases of community transmission in the past 24 hours. Of the new local infections, all but one are linked to exposure sites or previous cases. Premier Daniel Andrews says there's the possibility of similar undetected cases lurking in the community. We wish we could bring this in earlier, but we can't run the risk that there are cases out there that we don't know about. There are chains of transmission that are not yet contained. New South Wales has recorded 78 new local infections, including 21 who were out in the community while infectious. While one new case has been recorded in Queensland today, it's a woman in her 20s who's fully vaccinated who had arrived from Melbourne. People are coming forward in droves to roll up their sleeves for a vaccine, with 169,000 getting the jab yesterday. Health Minister Greg Hunt says 60% of over 50s have now had it. In terms of our total doses, we've now reached uh, almost 10.3 million, 2.9 million people who are fully vaccinated. Australia says it has no problem outing China over its involvement in a major cyber attack which disrupted the Microsoft email system. And American Airlines is pulling all flights to Australia. The carrier won't fly down under between September 1 and the end of October in response to tightened restrictions. To sport now and our Olympic campaign gets underway tomorrow with the Australian softball team playing Japan and the Matildas taking on New Zealand in women's soccer while Wimbledon champion Ash Barty is settling into Tokyo ahead of the games. In entertainment news and Kim and Kanye have put their divorce on hold at the weekend to take their kids to the museum. The pair putting on a united front as they spent time with their four children. Well COVID has hit the set of the Game of Thrones prequel. Producers have been forced to halt production in the UK after a worker on House of the Dragon tested positive to the virus. And apparently Amy Winehouse's signature beehive started out as a joke, but then it stuck. The late singer's hairdresser was just messing around when he styled her locks into what became her trademark do. And that is the latest from the Nova Podcast News team. We'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update.